<sighs> Lift with your butt, not with your gut. Mm. Hello, people on the internet. Welcome to my focus bubble. I'm going to be working on said focus bubble today. If you're new, up above my head, stuck to the hatch of this focus bubble, is a link to last video on focus bubble. How many times can I say focus bubble? Bubble. As you may recall from the last video, I got the roof welded onto the car, no more sunroof, it's now a slick top, and the dash is back in. So, so here's today's agenda. If you guys recall, I have these gravel spec longer travel remote reservoir KW coilovers made specifically for the Focus, as well as a shelf full of parts over here. This is new, by the way, I didn't put it in a video, but I have a parts shelf. All of these parts are for the Focus, for the most part, that uh, need to go back on the car. In a nutshell, I wanna make a lot of progress, and I have some help. What is the science, science man? Literally, the hole has to get bigger by like, well, maybe a little more than that. Two millimeters? That's it? Four millimeters. Four millimeters, oh, two per side? Go deep, prickle, and goo. He will walk through a wall if you want him to. Do 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 do. I got baking soda. Let's try to do this without scratching my freshly painted roll cage. Let you stick your tongue out, it helps. Ah, it's in. That's what he said. I thought that was gonna turn out cactus. I'm trying to shove that thing in there without scratching the roll bars. Luckily, I was smart enough to put on my head where in a bin. All right, that looks good. That looks so good. Nice. I like how the Race Tech logo is just kind of like vivid in your face, with the white roll bars. Oh, that's nice. So you look at the back side of this, the Race Tech steering wheel. See there's a little square provision right there. Well, that little square provision is actually part of the Momo hub adapter, not the steering wheel. It's right here for the, uh, cruise control and stereo controls. So it just like slides right over it. I like that it has that. <laughs> so dope. It looks so good. Fabric cobbler assistance. I need your assistance. I hope this doesn't slip because it'll probably, I don't know what it'll do to me, but it won't be good. That's what's up. I wish my dash was wrapped in suede too. That would look awesome. Instead, it's wrapped in plastic dip that gets dirty constantly. Instruzioni di montaggio volante. Well, this might be an issue. I don't know what I did with my horn button. I misplaced it during the move. It's not lost. I'm pretty organized. I just, I won't be able to put the horn button on right now until I find it. I gotta strip some wires now so I can hook up my fuel pump and sending unit. And also, I apologize for audio issues in the first part of this video. I just realized my microphone was plugged into the headphone jack. Yeah, because that helps. And you guys already know me. I'm not going to play around. I'm going to use some Deutsch connectors and do this the right way so it's nice and clean back here. Where is I got one for six wires somewhere. That's four. Well, I am going to need a four wire. Six. There's six. Originally, this was just tied directly into the body harness. So when they did all the rhino lining in here, they had to cut that and tuck it in there to paint it. And what I want to do is add plugs. That way this is all disconnectable back here. And that makes it easier for maintenance and troubleshooting and stuff like that. We're just going to do a time lapse. You could see me do this enough times. wiring project inside here is going to be a little bit more involved than I thought because I have to delete pretty much everything other than the taillights and the fuel pump. No shoes. Ah, even my socks are dirty. I really hope that's the right hardware. This is f***ing heavy. 
battery go in your hole. Lock this guy in place. You guys probably saw in the last video, I have Charlie here helping out now, and it is making my life so much easier because I can focus and work on one thing at a time and then also have someone else working on something at the same time. That way I can make these project cars take less than four years to complete. Ooh! Flash flood warning is in effect for this area until 8 45 p.m. Oh, really? This is a dangerous and life threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. So it's not a 1993 Nissan Ultima? No. Okay. <laughs> Every time I hear those stupid things, I just think it's the Amber Alert. It's a brown Nissan Ultima. It's always a Nissan Ultima. Oh yeah. It looks pretty gnarly out here. All the storms are moving away from us. This entire monsoon season, I have been where the storms are not. Bending around me. I am like the airbender. I don't even know, that's a movie, I think. Oh yeah, and spoiler alert, there is my next review. Yeah. It's a Ridgeline. I've never driven one of these. I'm so excited about it because I, well, you'll see the review. Hi, so next day, got this out of the booth. I used Plasti Dip on this because that's what's on the dash. I created that fake flock surface with Plasti Dip. So I use the same thing so it'll match. I'm gonna make a command decision here to prevent myself from going down the rabbit hole because I started going through that schematic trying to see what circuits I could delete to try to lose some weight with this wiring. And I'm gonna spend the next four days in here doing wiring stuff if I do not stop myself right now. Just by looking at the wiring schematic in the FSM, there's a lot of wires that are sheared powers or grounds with multiple different circuits in the car. And if I try to start cutting stuff and removing wires just to streamline everything, I'm gonna create a nightmare. So this is how I make a month and a half worth of wiring videos by letting stuff like this happen. I'm not gonna let this get the best of me and I'm just going to put this back here. I need to get the suspension on this car. That means new control arms in the rear. Get this thing out of here. What's there? Nothing's holding you in. Just a big piece of shit. I almost feel like it's my duty and obligation to try not to break this pop clip because it's survived since 2002. Still intact. Look at that. Didn't break. These are good popper doodles. None of them broke. Well, that's disgusting. You guys remember when this thing was infested with Black Widow spiders? Look at this. Don't act surprised, you know this was gonna happen. I kinda want an undercoat underneath here. I mean, might as well, I'm gonna do a color change in the car, right? Suspension disassemble. That's my half ass French accent. Charlie's here now and he just knocked out the driver's side while I uh, did the passenger side, except for getting the lower control arm out from the knuckle is a motherfucker. Everything is out and uh, now, now for the not fun part. We gotta make holes. Yep. Up underneath there, there's a hole with three planetary holes rotating around its axis and I don't know space. I don't know what the f I'm talking about right now. I'm sorry. There's a hole and a bigger hole slightly above it. They all need to be the same size. Small hole must be big hole size. You don't have a tool for that, do you? Could probably come from the top with an angle grinder and just grind it off. Hell yeah, that worked good. Mm -hmm. It made a massive mess, but it worked. I just gotta take the sharp edge off so nobody gets sliced. Okay, ready? I'm gonna feed this to you. Ready? Send it. Oh, 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 oh. You got to go at an angle. Go at an angle, go at an angle. There you go. 
Hell yeah, dude. It goes like this. Does the does the little dingleberry clear? Put a little dingleberry. The yeah, fitting yeah, for oh, the, yeah. The fitting for the shock? Yeah, plenty of room. Somebody had just recently replaced these tie rod ends because these tie rod ends that are on here are brand new. One of these kids is not like the other. <laughs> so this needs to face this way because it's going to attach right here into the bottom of the coilover. So, and you, it's not like I can buy any that are going to work for this because it's going to be all custom. I think since I need to get a new lower control arm since the ball joint is bad, I'm going to not fully assemble this because there's no point either way since the end link won't mount up. These things got so much more room for adjustability. I mean, look at that. It's, that's crazy. Ugh. It's wet. It's been raining for like, it started raining last night and it's been raining nonstop. This is weird for here. Now that I got these coilovers on the car and mocked up, so, uh, I mean, they could stay on there, but I think I'm gonna pull them off just to rubber undercoat under here. I actually might not even have to. I could probably just wrap a trash bag around that. I wanna see just how much ride height go back on. These are fucking heavy. That looks so wild. Oh, that's crazy. Oh yeah, it clears. Barely, but it clears. Sorry, I stopped the think and I forgot to start again. I wanna see what the ride height is gonna be like at this setting right here, because it can only get higher. And I can't get higher because my suspension geometry won't allow it. If you guys have any suggestions on better ways to clean up stuff on cars like this than what I've been doing in the past, please leave me not just suggestions of what to do, but companies specifically that I should reach out to to try to do this. I could put this thing outside and pressure wash it, but even pressure washing doesn't really do that great of a job on some of this gnarly stuff underneath here. I 100% agree. Dry ice blasting and vapor blasting, stuff like that, is obviously the, the best way to do this type of work. But those machines are out of my budget period. So that's after going over everything with those grease remover wipes and then using a waxing grease remover on top of that to try to get this all cleaned up. I need to scuff it, but the real issue is stuff like this. Like I tried cleaning the side of this transmission case. That's so cool. It says get drag and it's just, it's a nightmare and pressure washing doesn't really do that great of a job either. I might just go to Harbor Freight and pick up one of those uh, media blasters and try soda blasting some stuff. It makes a huge mess, but it's worth a shot. Get this tire on and drop this thing down the ground. It's with your butt, not with your gut. Ugh. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. Look how high this thing is. That is insane. Look how much ground clearance this car has. I gotta do something about that header. It's kind of dinked up. Well, that's lovely. It looks like a little nope just climbed out of underneath the focus. That's, that's awesome. I'm so glad that was inside the car. Why do you only have six legs? Where are your legs? It only has six legs. Don't worry, I didn't forget about this. It's all done. Fuel pump is wired up. I might move this pack next to the battery, just add some wire to it. Not too sure yet if I'm gonna leave it in that area. It's not bolted down, but um, yeah. And then everything down here is loomed. Wires ran across, just gotta join it to the rest of the wires on the other side of the car. And then that's it. And I gotta loom the other side of the car because I gotta hook up the taillights and wire the taillights for the European spec taillights so my turn signals are not my reverse lights and vice versa. So what do you think of the, it's a, it's a little bouncy. Yeah, it's a little stiff. It's that's actually right. a lot, it's a lot stiff. <laughs> it, that's a bad thing? Uh, yeah, there's no, Right now, it's completely topped out against the limit, the travel limit. So there's 
essentially no more down travel left. All you have is up travel, which is going to be a really harsh ride. Ideally, you'd want it to be about in the middle so that you have a lot of extension and a lot of compression for hitting bumps and then going over. So it's not even an issue of doing different set up with the lower control arm adding limit straps it's the spring no. is you too st stiff you, you still need to add limit straps to keep it from limiting all the way out and breaking stuff because it's it's actually really hard on a shock absorber to go against the limits of the shock absorber like you can pull all the guts out of it if you do it hard enough oh, okay so uh, probably not on a kw they're a really high quality but it's hard on it yeah um so you want to put limit straps so that all the stresses are on that strap not on your expensive coilover oh i gotcha but the spring rate is like, like, I can barely get it to move. It's just like insanely stiff. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are a fan of rally content. Because I know some people may not be a fan of a Ford Focus per se, but if you like this content, let me know. I really appreciate your feedback on that. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.